My name is John Chubb and I pastor Papago Butte's Church of the Brethren in Scottsdale, Arizona. I wanted to share about how the Brethren Faith in Action, as well as the Jesus in the Neighborhood grants, helped us to turn a corner with our outward community focus. I was called to this church in May of 2021, and I wanted to spend the first year landing a well, with just trying to get a good rhythm for planning Sunday services, with getting to know the congregation and seeing what a typical year looked like. And I quickly realized that we had a wonderful core group of people who called this their church home. Uh, we're smaller in number, uh, but the people there seem to genuinely love Jesus and are really trying to do that whole peacefully, simply together thing. Uh, but I also noticed that we barely got any visitors. We're in a city of four and a half million people. Our campus is along a major street and we're in the middle of a neighborhood, but we didn't really have that many people we didn't know checking us out on any given Sunday. Around the time I noticed this, we ended up having a yard sale with the proceeds going to help our youth get to the National Youth Convention in Colorado in 2022. Uh, I love yard sales and wasn't expecting any sort of amazing turnout, and yet we found our parking lot full during this two-day run. Uh, literally hundreds of people showed up looking for some good deals. And that's when the light bulb went off. I started to realize that, hey, maybe this was a path to better connect with our community. And so our leadership team, we got together, we ended up having a one day retreat where we dreamed and discussed uh, how we could do this and uh, what kind of intentional event we could start with all of this. And so we landed on a trunk or treat uh, thing for late October, uh, which gave us several months to plan this out. And I assumed people would wanna show up for something like this, but I also wanted our guests to feel like it was an exciting event. Admittedly, this might cost some money. And that's when I found out about the Brethren Faith in Action, as well as the Jesus in the Neighborhood grants. And so I crunched some numbers and I applied for some money. I mopped out what extra advertising would look like, including marketing flyers, outward signage, and a bigger push on social media. We invested in renting a bouncy house, got some cotton candy and popcorn to pass out. Uh, I wanted our people to not feel a financial burden with buying candy, so we loaded up on that as well. And both the Brethren Faith in Action and Jesus in the Neighborhood Grants uh, paid for all of this. We got a bunch of our volunteers together, decorated cars, we got a big uh, dragon bouncy house. We were excited but nervous, would anyone show up? And turns out they did. We had a good 50 or so uh, people show up for this first event. Passed out tons of candy, talked to people about our church, gave out stickers and flyers, uh, got to just know some of the people and say, hey, how'd you hear about this event? And that gave us a good grounding for trying again the following year. Uh, as we started to do other events, we continued to fine tune like what, what worked and how we could do things better. Uh, we've learned how to pull off an event like this, how to advertise, how to build on that. Uh, we realized for Trunk or Treat, we need tables for people to sit at, we need chairs, maybe they'd appreciate some real food, uh, maybe we could try to have someone fa uh, face painting or doing other such activities. So we did all of this and for our second year we had at least 150 if not more people show up. Uh, not that it's about numbers, but it was so heartwarming to see our campus abuzz with people having fun and laughing and just having a great evening with their, with their kids. Uh, one of the best comments I ever heard was, when I saw this as, was a church, I was not expecting much, but man, I had so much fun. Uh, that event and that grant money helped us to continue to dream about connecting with those around us. In the spring, instead of another yard sale, we opted to run a book sale. Similar ener energy, but way less work. First year, we had a decent turnout. We were able to donate our proceeds to a local food bank. In the second year, again, we learned from the past and we learned how to do it better. We had a bigger turnout uh, and we were able to uh, partner with a local homeless ministry in getting them the funds. Um, some of the people that showed up at the first one actually showed up for the second one and we were excited about that. Hopefully, a new tradition has been born. Uh, we started to work with the Red Cross doing blood drives. If I've done the math correctly, we've uh, collected a little over 12 gallons, helping out to, uh, hundreds of people in the process. Uh, every January, uh, there's a marathon that shuts our building down uh, one Sunday morning, and we uh, decided a couple years ago, hey, instead of just meeting together for Saturday night uh, worship and that's it, let's meet together for Saturday night worship, let's crash here on campus, and the next morning let's pass out water to the thousands of people that are uh, passing by our campus. Uh, as we've uh, done that, we've gotten our youth involved and are excited to uh, continue to build upon, upon that. Um, and this stuff is actually starting to work out. We're starting to get visitors show up. We're starting to uh, have uh, people we don't know call us, email us, things like that. Uh, we redid our website. We just kept it really simple. We're about peace and we even had a family show up because of that. 
Um, I think that Jesus uh, calls us to be salt and light uh, to our world. And that's especially so important as the American church continues to lose her influence and it's uh, more about uh, what she's against than what she's for. Um, so I'm excited that we've continued uh, to really push forward into our community, uh, getting to know people and just are excited to continue to uh, be the church that Jesus calls us to be. I'm incredibly thankful uh, to our denomination for providing some of the money to help us uh, get, get a jump start on this. And so thank you so much and we're excited for what the future looks like.